everyone and welcome back to Zudosia, where I am currently in the panda exhibit surrounded by lush beautiful greenery. I may be a little bit biased with how much I absolutely adore being here. Look at the leaves falling. Listen to the rustle of the bamboo through the leaves or the wind through the leaves of the bamboo. Oh my goodness. And I myself look much like a leaf. Hopefully the pandas will not mistake me as one of their new enrichment toys that we are going to be adding in today. Ah. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll start putting in their, their enrichment items. I've actually been spending a little bit of time kind of running around and sprinkling a few more pieces of bamboo around. I really have fallen in love with this Tamora black bamboo. It's so beautiful. It's just got this nice dark rich color that I really like. It's kind of like I like the Asper bamboo. And I also really like the giant timber bamboo. So those colors are my favorite. The golden bamboo, this bamboo right over here, it's pretty cool. Uh, but I, I'm not so much a fan, at least in this exhibit, of the mosso bamboo. We might actually exchange that out. But holy days, this stuff is growing happily. We're going to have to like exchange some of it with uh with jacob because this is getting out of hand there's so much of it already however that's a good thing since the pandas are going to need lots and lots and lots of it to eat and actually the bamboo that we put down here is not going to grow very tall because it'll hit the leaves above it and stop growing so that won't be so bad all right and then let me see also this is another one of my favorites holy crap look how fast it is it's amazing so let's see we'll put this little asper right there and the more black but yeah, I've been having a very hard time resisting just running around and sprinkling bamboo in every corner. It's great for these guys to be able to eat it, but I need to remember it can be a little bit hard for them to maneuver around it. So, gotta keep that in mind, huh, Nori? You gonna make any noise? Oh my gosh, look at that boar. Hi, boar! Alright, but it's pretty nice because this bamboo is not quite as fussy as this bamboo. Uh, for growing. Yeah, no, I don't have any, I don't have any of those bamboo sprouts. So it's kind of nice to be able to put it like in a few corners where the other bamboo is like, no, nah, I'm not going to grow. What are you talking about? I'm not going to grow. Uh, let's see, and then we'll put one right there. Hi, Nori dear. She seems to be adjusting quite well. This is really looking so much better. Clearing out that grass and putting down some of the other types of flowers and the ground cover plants. We're going to need a lot more ground cover plants, but I'm very happy with how this panda exhibit is turning out. It's going to be very beautiful by the time it's done. However, today we are going to work on adding enrichment items in for the pandas, just like we talked about yesterday. So these will be things for them to play with things for them to smell extra treats for them to eat uh, let's start picking the torches up I need to make well maybe not yet I need to make more lamps I've run out of lamps uh, so I need to make more of the hanging lamps that we can put up but speaking of hanging things we are going to be building the ramp in just a second but I saw a really awesome example of bamboo in or bamboo of panda enrichment in a zoo when I was doing some research on enrichment for pandas and what they did was they actually cut up a watermelon and they tied the watermelon on a string like they put a big giant strong cable string uh, through it and then they hung it so the pandas could come over and they could chew on the melon and I thought that was awesome so what I want to do is I actually want to put some watermelon up and then I want to put a micro block uh, across the top like a little micro block plank to make it look like the watermelon is hanging so that the pandas can come eat it and I actually do have let's see the hacksaw and we've got some wood over at our little work site and that's actually where Tate and Pine are waiting for me I'm coming boys at least I would be if I didn't get trapped by the bamboo man it really could make an awesome cage I wonder if we could just make a cool bamboo cage to keep the ghost in wouldn't that be amazing oh that would be so cool all right where are my boys Oh, wait, wait, I think I left him outside the reptile house. Let's go get him. And then we have so much bamboo growing, we can definitely trade a lot of it with Jacob since we're spending so much time in this area so that we have the money, huh, Pine and Tate, to go do fun things this weekend when we do our amazing market day special. So let's pop over here and dig around inside of our little supply chest. There's some oak wood. Uh, let me put away the things we don't need right now. Darling has given me so many hearts. At least I have those to eat if I need more. 
My goodness, I should start eating them more often. That's just so cool. Put away that safari net. We don't need mole fingers. Don't need, oh, the fossil finder needs to go back in the staff lounge before I lose it. That would be terrible. Uh, don't really need bat pick right now. We will, however, need the glorious grafter. I want to keep the shears out, and the chisel we're probably going to need pretty soon, too. This cooked fish I will eat now. That's a gift from Lily. Um, nom 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 nom. Are you boys hungry? Not really. They're okay for now. And we're going to get out the wood, the carpenter's wedges, uh, the thatch bundles that we have, the carpenter's blocks that we have, and let's see some of the carpenter's barriers because we're going to be building the ramps for the pandas in just a second which means i need my carpenter's hammer and we're also going to be getting out if i had them there we go the bamboo thatching i want to see how the bamboo thatching would kind of work but let's see first things first i want to see if we can hang that watermelon so let me see about getting the oak planks whoops that's not what i wanted to do and then what we want to do, do we want to turn it into a panel? No, I think we want to make them into strips. And then we cut the strips. Ah, I messed up. Okay, I have to chuck that aside. It's scrap wood now. All right, so we want the oak planks. And then the oak panels. And then this is what we want, these panel strips. There we go. We'll just leave the hacksaw there. Sorry, little slabs, you are now scrap wood. So we'll just have to toss them down. And then let's go in and see if we can hang the watermelon. And I actually brought some melon. Oh no, we need to go back. We need to go back to the crafting station. I forgot you have to make like a nine by nine block for watermelon. Do, 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 do. Ah, dang it. Go away. <laughs> Keep picking up the scrap wood again. All right, let's move this. And watermelon, yay. Fresh watermelon. There's still a piece left over for me to eat too. That'll be fun. And then let's pop over here. You know what? I can actually put all this bamboo away because we, we have a lot of bamboo. I still need to add more, but we can sell a ton of this later to our good friend, Jacob. There we go. All right, so let's see if we can hang up some melons for the pandas to enjoy. I think that would be so much fun. And then once we get the melons hung up, we will start working more officially. Let's see, where are they? Hiding in their little corners. We'll start working more officially on the ramps. So let's see. Yeah, right here looks like a good spot. That's exactly what I want you to do, little panels. How did you read my minds? So it's like we've hung a rope up between the two pieces of bamboo. And then you hang the melon! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! I think that that will work perfectly. I think it's a little too tall though. I wonder if that's too tall. Like, well, they can stand up on their hind legs. So there we go. That's how we can hang melons around for them for enrichment. Let's do some more. Nori, Nori, darling, do you want a melon? Let me see if I can line up some of these bamboo pieces just right. You two are next to each other. Spin. Whoops, sorry, Nori. Let me get my little ax down. I put that one in the wrong place. All right, come here. Little panel piece. And we'll put it right where she kind of, there we go, walks. And now we'll hang another watermelon. Yay! Look at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. So this will be like another little watermelon that she can chew on. It's a good enrichment item. I love it. I love how easy that was. Let's see. We'll put one more watermelon like over here. Where, where Juong, no, this is Heibai. Uh, hangs out. Let's see. Where should I put it? It needs to go between, between these bamboo. So what about like right there and just another one against it. There we go. And we'll pretend it like ties in and then we'll put the little ta-da! Melon! Now you can chew on a melon! Oh, that's so awesome! And then another one of the nice easy ones that we have to do is actually making some bamboo item frames to hang up honeycomb. And that's another thing that I saw is that they'll put honey out inside the bamboo or inside, why do I keep saying bamboo exhibit? Inside the panda exhibit so the pandas can nibble on the honey, which I thought was interesting because I, I, you know, they are bears, but I wouldn't have thought that pandas would be into honey since their diet is so much focused on just eating. Let's see, two item frames. 
just eating like bamboo. But apparently pandas also enjoy honey. So I was excited to learn about that. All right, let's make some more item frames so we can hang up anything else we need to. Boom, bamboo item frames. We'll put these bamboo shoots away. Uh, do I need to? Aha, dang it, I picked up the scrap wood again. Go away, scrap wood. All right, and then we'll run back inside. Let's hang up the honey. This honey is donated to uh, the pandas by our wonderful peach bee. So this is, this is gonna be nice. We'll put the honey a little bit lower down. And where should, I think we should like tuck it like over here next to a little bush. There we go. There, so it's like they can find the honey while they're sort of scavenging around the bushes. I like that. It's very important, very important so that they can have a sense of like forging a little bit of that, that urge, that natural urge for discovery and hunting. And then I also brought some ice. And I'm trying to figure out how we could do the ice because this is unmelting ice, very useful. But once you put it down, I'm like, how do I put fruit inside the ice? And I'm trying to figure out a good way to do that. My thought was maybe like just put an item frame and then we could put like a melon. And then that works. It's not the most ele elegant thing in the world. I kind of want to like put item frames around the whole thing to simulate that it's an ice block with melon inside. But I think this will have to do. This will do until we come up with something a little bit more creative. So let's go ahead and knock this down though. Oh no, I destroyed the ice. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we'll put this like over here. Because it'll, it'll be kind of cute right in front of where people can watch from the hot springs. They can come over and nibble on their, their little ice. Alright, let me scoot this torch a little bit. Because this is the area where we are going to work some panda ramp magic. Oh, I love that hanging, like, watermelon. That is just so cool. All right, so I was trying to decide what type to use, what type of wood to use in here. And I think I'm going to try to stick to oak wood, bamboo, thatching, and thatch bundles. Uh, so we'll see how that turns out. And then we're going to make some little, some little ramps, like a little panda play place. And hopefully it'll turn out nice. Uh, maybe too wide so that they can climb up because pandas are not the most graceful things in the world I'm finding and then let's see we'll knock these ones out for a second because then you can come in yeah look at that and you can make a, a perfectly ramp ramp like a little ik, 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 ik. there we go there we go look at that all right then you can make a little ramp so it can go up and we'll make it come over again and we can even grab the carpenter's hammer and if I can get this just right voila so let's knock these back down doink 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 yay look at that we made like a nice little nice little spot I was thinking I even brought the barriers hmm but if we do that let's see what about that hmm problem interesting interesting so does it look better i think it looks better actually big and then has a barrier under it so can we do like a big barrier is it just going to be stuck looking like that hmm i'll mull this part over they can still walk under this piece because they're they're pretty tall as far as or they're only one block tall i mean as far as the mobs go all right, so then I kind of want to make it so that it turns and they go up right here. So this will be up again, but no taller than that because I don't want them to get too nervous. Like this is very high to fall from. And from what I've seen of pandas in zoos like this, they fall a lot. <laughs> like I said, not the most graceful of creatures when it comes to uh, handling heights and things like that. I don't know, I kind of want to take these out now. Let's see, let me whack them again. I don't know, I'm on the fence about this. On the fence about it. Maybe the key is to take that one out. There, I think the key is not to let them connect and make the fence look. But I will put that there. There we go, so the pandas can climb up. And then I'm going to have it, let's see, come out again. And I want them to be able to climb down from that point to another little another little ramp spot that they can sit at and contemplate their panda life. 
<laughs> I can contemplate being a panda. There we go. Right here. And let's see. So rampy part. Down part. Um, let's see. Little patio part, maybe? Does it? Am I going to make it? Yeah, let's make it come down over here. So now we'll have a down ramp. Come on down, little pandas. This is where you'll come down to the ground. No, it turned sideways. Tate, watch out. <laughs> I'm doing major construction work here, my boy. He's like, I'll help you by picking up the pieces for you, mom. He's such a good boy. I should definitely take him fishing sometime soon. I keep promising him that we'll go fishing soon, and I just don't follow up, so I need to be good and follow up. There we go. We'll just make this a giant ramp piece. Now, it's not going to lead down, though. I think that that's going to be just, like, a big giant ramp part that you can come and just sit on. And then to get down, you can turn around and go down here, or you can turn around and go down there. All right, hang on, Tate. I'm trying to figure this out, buddy. There we go. And just make a big old giant ramp. No! Help! 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 This one? No, not quite. This one. Ah! Okay, we'll do this for a second. No, oh, dang it! No fudge knuckles! <laughs> Why must you be so tricky building regulations? Alright, let's try it this way. Oh, Tate! I'm sorry, boy. <laughs> Tate and Pine are trying out the ramp for me. They're like, it works, Mom! Oops, almost there. Almost. Come on! All right, you guys, we got it! We got it! Almost! Okay, counting my chickens before they're hatched when I was, like, yelling we got it there, but let's see, and we'll put another little, another little thing there, and another little support beam, like, right there. Nice, nice, and I can put one support beam here, one support beam there, and we have an awesome little ramp spot for the pandas. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Good! So now, let's figure out what kind of wood and whatnot we're going to stick on it. So I'm thinking, I kind of want to have, like, let's see, that part, and then thatch bundles, or oak wood planks. I think oak wood planks, just to vary it up a little bit, and because it looks a lot more sturdy than the thatch bundles. So we'll put oak wood planks all over here. There we go. And down. Do I have enough? I hope I have enough. We can always go get more if we need more. Eh. Oh, I need more. <laughs> oh no! Well, actually, huh. I kind of like that. Huh. I'm going to take it down. No, probably better just to leave that. It's just my passion for anything green that goes, yeah, well, let's leave that random green block. All right, so let's go grab some more, um, oh, actually, we've got some. Some more oak wood. All right, where's normal oak wood planks? I wonder, is there a way to make this look even better? Could we add more details? Because it feels kind of flat right now, like there's not a lot of detail going on. <gasps> I know, we should put thatching up the sides. Ah, oh, come on, no, come on, carpenters, work with me, like this. Yeah, look at that! Ooh, and there's even a couple spots to put, like, stuff there. I want carpenters... No, come on, work with me, work with me! I guess the, the slopes won't do it. But all the normal blocks... Look at that! Aw, oh, man! That totally adds that touch of detail to the sides that we needed right there. Mm-hmm, I love it. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect! And there's another spot we need to put in that. All right, look at you, look at you, looking good, looking good, looking good. Whoops. Let's take that out and put the thatch bundle right there. <gasps> you guys, we built a cute little panda area, a cute little area for them to walk on and climb around. And I think, what should we do? I'm like, should we put some sort of fencing along here, maybe? But then they wouldn't have any room to come and climb on it. You know what I mean? We have to leave some area, even if it means that they might fall down a little bit, for them to be able to climb up here, for real. I love it. I love how it's turned out. I do think that we need to add, like, some more enticement for them, though. So I do have an idea. We'll do 
this right here and then we'll put the bamboo thatching down well actually I think we need to make it go one higher come on thatching almost got it hey, 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 come back here come back here we should definitely have oh maybe we should build a house out of bamboo for one of our buildings that we build we should build a house out of bamboo and explain how economical bamboo is as a building material boom there, this is more like it. See, we need to put more toys and things around. And that reminds me, another thing that I read the keepers will do for the pandas. Um, can I put in like an, another unmelting ice block? Yeah, we'll put another unmelting ice block up uh, with like a bamboo shoot inside of it. Maybe? Should I put it here? Or let's put it over here. There we go. And then let's get this item frame. And where's a bamboo shoot? Ah, there's one. One of them that haven't grown and probably aren't going to grow in their current spots. Swap that out. Bamboo shoot. Right there for them to eat. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. This is what I dream of for our pandas. But another thing that I read keepers will do to entice the pandas' curiosity and to really get them interacting and to see what kind of behavior mechanisms they have uh, that you might not normally see in captivity is they'll leave little crates around crates that have goodies and things or just empty crates to inspire curiosity so we're going to leave a couple empty crates not too many we don't want to clutter the area up but we're going to leave a couple empty crates over here so that the pandas will come over and they'll be like what's inside the crate and they'll just like poke at it but now we have the awesome melons the amazing ramp which we could add more things onto. Oh, I love those hanging melons. And we've also got the honey sprinkled around. So the only other thing I can really think of doing is adding like some more ground cover, maybe adding um, like some more fragrant flowers and uh, a lot more things with ice on them. In fact, we're going to leave the ice blocks around and we'll have to come back and find out like if they've eaten the thing off the ice block later because that would be really cool to come and see if it's empty or not. And that means we'll have to install some new food inside the ice block for them. But let's see, let's put this one here and right there. And we'll have to get things to put inside those ice blocks. But slowly and surely, our amazing panda exhibit has evolved! I'm very excited. I think I'm going to move all of the pandas onto the ramp to see how they adjust to it and what they think of it. And wow! We've done our panda exhibit! Huzzah, Tate! Huzzah! So next thing that we're going to work on is checking on the other areas of the zoo for a little bit, making sure that's all going okay. And then we're going to have to figure out uh, how we're going to build our little shrine. In fact, I think I actually thought this through. There is a very special type of dirt that you can get that will actually keep the purified dirt is what we should put down around our shrine because this dirt actually will keep uh, hostile mobs away, I believe. So let me see. Yeah, the purified dirt, I am pretty darn sure, keeps hostile mobs away just like uh, the, let's see, not the dry dirt, but there's like another type of dirt where you can actually entice mobs to it. So we might have to go on the search for purified dirt, how to mix that together. So this is going to be very exciting, you guys. And I love how our panda exhibit has come together. So now we need to start building things around the exhibit pathways and different things like the walkway that will go through the exhibit so that people can see what our pandas are up to. And we'll also have to go and I think rescue a couple of the pandas from that barren desert of a land that's over by the archaeology village. So I'll see you guys then. If you can help me feed all these hungry crews and give me ideas for things that we can put into their ice box by leaving a comment below, it would mean so much. And as always, I'm so happy to have you guys with me. This is our zoo and it's amazing. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.